York is home to the National Railway Museum, which welcomes tens of thousands of visitors through its doors each year. And for them to be able to engage with these topics on the floor of the museum is really important for us. It's really important to get the public involved in, in this conversation about the safety of autonomous systems. Without knowing what they think, we can't really make good research or good decisions about the future. I definitely learned about how past experiences and uh, now have like really related. I think it's really interesting to think about Stevenson's rocket and to think about some of the, the issues, the technical issues and the social kind of issues. Um, I think that really provokes you thinking with that at the side of the actual exhibition to think about you know, the way that this is all going in the future and that actually we've had these problems in the past um, and we've had these ethical dilemmas in the past. Yeah, I guess I learned a little bit about yeah, some of the percentages and the way it picks things up and hazards. the hazard protection was really good. I think it's actually a very exciting development and I, I'm actually looking forward to it. I think it's uh, exciting. It's like a new thing that could help with different ways of the streets working and how it all like comes together. I do think it's inevitable we're moving in that direction. I think fairly quickly to be honest. What I've learned today about uh, people's perceptions of autonomous systems is that they're really quite well informed and that's fantastic. I think people are really engaged in what's happening and what's coming. I think I was really pleased with how interested people seem to be in the technology and the possibilities of the technology. I was expecting some dissenting voices, but I think everybody we spoke to today was favourable about introducing autonomous systems. The visitors will get a great deal out of it as well because it's a, it's a highly interactive exhibit that encourages them to think not just about the technology, but about the ethics that, that are associated with autonomous technologies. Well, ultimately it's going to be the public that this is going to be affecting, so it's really important to get their opinion. I think it's extremely important that lots of things where we know how to develop the technology and to make systems work and even to demonstrate that they're safe, but unless they're acceptable to people, unless people are comfortable with them, then the technology is not going to get deployed. So actually the engagement with the, the public to understand these systems, understand why they can trust them, is really, really important.